from the days of the American Revolution to our most recent conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, more than one million of our fellow Americans have sacrificed their lives to protect and preserve our safety and our freedom. Major General John Logan, who was a Civil War veteran, founded Memorial Day in 1868. Following the Civil War, a small group of women went to a cemetery in Columbus, Mississippi, and they honored the soldiers of both the North and the South by putting flowers on their graves. In the first official commemoration of Memorial Day at Arlington National Cemetery, another Civil War veteran and future president, James Garfield, describing the sacrifices of the fallen, said, we do not know one promise these men made, one pledge they gave, one word they spoke, but we do know they summed up and perfected by one supreme act, the highest virtues of men and citizens. For love of country, they accepted death and thus resolved all doubts and made immortal their patriotism and their virtue. One of the most important ways that we can honor their sacrifice is by cherishing our veterans and their families. Thank you to those who are with us today who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. As President John F. Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Thank you all for joining us this morning.